wobbly jetty, wobbly jetty. Wobbly jetty. We've got to stay very, very st <laughs> still going, in it? It's you. You got the shakes, haven't you, from all that wine? Ooh. <laughs> We're in Leeds. If you haven't already guessed, it's very noisy. It's like lots of work going on there. Big new buildings sprouting up out the ground, and we are in Granary Wharf. Uh, we've got a huge great apartment building on one side of us massive it's like a big tube like a big toilet roll tube with windows in it <laughs> and it's not made of cardboard i hope there's nobody living in there watching and then on that side is the hilton double tree uh it's actually a hotel it's not trees it's not like two trees it's a hotel so we're between locks two and one on the leeds and liverpool canal it's the beginning or the end of the leeds and liverpool canal whichever way you want to look at it and it's kind of sad because we've now finished the Leeds and Liverpool. It is a bit sad because it's a lovely canal. We've got some lovely footage. New canals to explore. But yeah, new canals. So tomorrow, or the day after, are oh, we going to drop down onto the Air and Calder navigation. It's going to be a bit special because the Air and Calder is it's like our home canal, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Where we used to live. We used to work in Leeds. I used to work in the railway station, which is just above us there. We met in Leeds, we grew up in Leeds, and so it's kind of like our home city. But the Air and Calder navigation will take us down towards Castleford, which is where we lived for years, many years, yes. 20, 20 odd years. But it's nice to kind of come back into civilization, even if it's just for a couple of days. Tomorrow, we're gonna to head out down through the river lock, lock number one, onto the Air and Calder, and it's mostly river. Uh, we go down the river air towards where it meets the river Calder at Castleford, and we're gonna moor up there for a couple of days. Get some family on board. No! <laughs> Beautiful morning. Uh, we've just set off from the river lock, lock number one, off the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. We're now on the River Air and the Air and Calder navigation mainline ahead of us. I'm uh, just about to go under Leeds Bridge. We're heading for the next lock and we're just going to stop off and use the services. Bye bye Leeds! Bye Leeds! It's actually been really nice to get back into civilization for a few days. But it's good to get back out. <laughs> it is nice to leave. <laughs> Although, I don't know about you, but it feels a bit weird leaving Leeds because it's like we're leaving home again. Do you not feel that? No. I do. I get homesick really easily. So when I'm leaving places that I'm familiar with, 
it kind of makes me feel a bit sad. Oh, look at that, it's like World War II. Well, look at all those sandbags. But saying that, we've left Leeds and we're on our way down to Castleford, which is where we used to live. We lived there for many years. I'm actually not sure if I'm looking forward to going back to Castleford. It's, it was recently voted the worst place in Britain to live. It's very tired. It could do with a bit of a boost. Yeah. One of the things I love about the locks on the air and colder navigation is A, the size. Some of them are like 200 feet long. And they were built that way on purpose to get all that commercial traffic through. And they all still have these, well, kind of new type of lock keepers cottages, as you could call them, like control rooms. And the lock keepers now move from lock to lock to help the commercial traffic up and down the air and colder navigation towards Leeds and Goole. And all the lock mechanisms are now electrified. So all you need is a British waterways key. You don't need to open and close the lock gates and wind the gate paddles up and down. None of that anymore. It's just touch a button, which I'm going to show you in a second. The Aaron Calder really follows the route of the River Air between Leeds and then down towards Goul. But there's a lot of weirs on the river, especially between Leeds and Castleford and just after Castleford. So they built locks to get around these weirs, but sometimes the river can flood because it's a river. It flooded the other day while we were in Skipton with all those heavy rains. So if you just look behind me, you can see at the side of the lock gate, there's like a coloured board that comes up out of the water. It starts off red, then you've got orange, amber, and then you've got green. So as long as the river is on the green part, you're all right to go. If it goes onto the orange, you've got to proceed with caution because the current might be flowing fast because the river's rising or coming out of flood. If it's on red, don't do it because the river is in flood and the currents are going to be so strong it can be quite dangerous. And it once happened to us, on our last boat, we were actually on this river in some heavy rains, it had been raining for a few days and the river level was rising as we were on it. By the time we got to Altos where we were going, the lock lights were flashing red and it was red on the board behind us. So we were lucky to get off in time. Tucked away on the outskirts of the southern end of Leeds on the air and colder navigation is this, it's Thwaite Mill. And there's been a mill on this little island next to the River Air for like 380 years. Not in this form though, this was redeveloped about 200 years ago. And they put two water mills in that run from the weir. And they've milled all sorts over the years, seeds and flint and china and even made putty up to like 40, 50 years ago. And the two water mills are still going. So the mills, the warehouse, the manager's house, the stables are all like self-contained on this island. And they were self-sufficient. It was only a few years ago that they actually got electricity into this place. We just realized that today is 
three months since we moved on to Silver Fox. Oh wow, yes. <laughs> Even you didn't know that. No. Did you? Three months. Well, we've outdone how long we lasted on the first boat <laughs> <laughs> by about three months. <laughs> Even Dylan's laughing. Yeah. If you can hear panting, it's Dylan. It's not Sean. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, three months, in three months we've gone from Rufford to Liverpool to Rufford, up the Lancaster, back down the Lancaster, all the way across the Leeds and Liverpool. Now we're on the River Air. And yeah, we're back where we started three months ago. Well, not on the boat, but we moved from this area, from this area. Any regrets yet? Absolutely none. What would you have changed if you could change anything? Uh. Nothing. Really? Yeah. I've loved it all, so far. It's supposed to be less stressful and it isn't less stressful. It's... Different stresses. Different stresses, yeah. I mean, the way of life is better for yeah. me and I think we're more relaxed overall, which is what we wanted. But I was never under any illusion that it was going to be stress-free. We never got any time together before, did we? No, that's, yeah, that's one thing that's changed. Because I was working like six, seven, eight hours a day and he was working... Well, Crazy shifts. Yeah, I mean, with travelling time, like 10, 12 hours sometimes. Yeah, it was, like yeah. Five days a week, yeah. wasn't it? So, we are getting on each other's nerves a bit now. No, he's getting on mine. <laughs> I get on everybody's nerves. <laughs> Except Dylan's. Except Dylan, he's laid on his back once and his chest rubbed. Right, we are. Let's go. Go on then. Back on the boat. After leaving Woodlesford, we soon arrive at Lemonroyd Marina near Methley. Now, Methley is where my grandparents lived, it's where my mum was raised and it's where I was born. So it's a bit of a special place for me. It's also where we were offered our very first mooring when we had our original boat 15 years ago. Now, you'll know that Yorkshire's well known for coal mining and St Aidan's Pit was right next to the River Air here. And back in 1988, the subsidence from St Aidan's along with some geological faults that ran underneath the canal and the river both gave way and it caused the bank of the river air to collapse and it flooded the entire open cast mine. Three million seven hundred thousand gallons of water poured from the river into this open cast mine. So the river air flows down here from Lemonroyd and the River Calder, a few miles away, comes in from Wakefield. It joins the River Air at Castleford and then it flows on towards Ghoul and the Humber. 
Now, when the bank failed, not only did the downstream river air flow into the site, but the river Calder, miles away, flowed upstream into the river air from Castleford. Now, it cost over £20 million and about seven years to repair all the damage, and they actually rebuilt and rerouted the river and the canal away from the breach. It took years to reroute and rebuild the river. And before the bank collapsed, there used to be two locks on the canal here, but when they rerouted it, they replaced Kippox lock and Lemonroid lock with just one single deeper lock, which is this one, Lemonroid. It's where we are now. 30 years later, it's actually quite nice. The flooded mine is now a country park. It opened about five years ago, and it's looked after by the RSPB. Uh, so that was Lemonroid Lock, deep one, 13 foot 6, it's like two and a bit of me. God, can you imagine two of me? No. The bit might be alright, it depends which bit you want though, doesn't it? One's enough. Uh, so yeah, that was Lemonroid Lock. Uh, the reason for it, as you saw on the other side, is the weir that comes down the river. And we're now back on the river air, and no more locks, or weirs, hopefully. Uh, we're going to go through Methley, through Ollop and Bywater, and then into Castleford. Yay! Yay! I'm looking forward to a takeaway when we get to Castleford. Another one. We've, we've been living on takeaways this last three days. We had McDonald's sausage and egg muffins for two days in a row. And what about him that tried to get on the boat? Oh yeah, a bloke tried getting on the boat last night. Just because his girlfriend said, oh, we need to go and have a look at that boat. No, what she, the girl. They were walking by the side of the bow and the girl went, Oh look, it's Silver... Like that as well. Oh look, it's Silver Fox. You're a Silver Fox. You need to have that bow. So the guy literally walked around and tried to get on the bow. I had words. <laughs> Sean's like, Oi! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sat in the boat trembling. And we had a guest on board as well. Yeah, we had a guest. Kingfisher. Yay! In it? Yeah. Our actual first kingfisher and you never saw it and it wasn't a packet of dairy milk. It was flying. That was a proper kingfisher, wasn't it? Yeah. nearly got wet. Very. <laughs> it started absolutely belting it down, literally like 20 minutes before we got here. Uh, but here we are. In Castleford. Back in Castleford, Classy Cass. No. As it <laughs> used to be known, it did, didn't it? Yeah. It used to be known as Classy Cass. Nothing classy about it. It's all right, it's my kind of hometown in a way. It's okay. As you come in, in towards Castleford, down the River Air, you come to a junction at Castleford and you can either turn left and you've got to be careful because it's quite a hidden turn, isn't it, onto Castleford Cut. Or you can turn right up the River Calder, that takes you up towards the Calder and Hebble and then the Huddersfield Narrow and the Rochdale up that way. Or you can go straight on and go over the weir. <laughs> Which Sean nearly did. I didn't see the turn. <laughs> There's already one badge stuck oh, over there. It's because it was raining so hard. <laughs> so where we are now, we're at Castleford Cut Visitor Moorings. But to say it's not got a good reputation, the visitor moorings and the are services... really nice. They're always really busy. 
it's really tough to get in the services and get some water. On our right side, so behind you, there used to be this massive chemical plant. My dad worked there and my granddad worked there as well. Uh, and it was, it was closed down years ago after a, a, a big accident, there was an explosion. On the other side is Fairburnings. So we were talking about St Aidan's flooding. Well, all the subsidence created the Fairburnings over there. So it's like a, and it's another RSPB nature reserve. Uh, and that's really nice for walking the dog or, well, not when it's flooding. No, but it is beautiful out there. When it floods, it really floods. Uh, so we're gonna spend a couple of days here. Uh, Dylan's got to have a couple of teeth out in a few days. So, so that's gonna impress him. That's why we're staying here for a while. It'll be all right. It's mooching around in the it's over there, now. It's got no idea what's on its way. So I hope you've liked this vlog. A bit different to the ones we've done over the last few weeks, isn't it? Uh, if you have liked it, as usual, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you click the bell, YouTube will let you know every time we have a new video out every Friday. It goes ding. Ding. <laughs> does it? <laughs> well, I presume it does. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments or feedback, leave them down below. It's been nice to see you. Hope you've enjoyed being with us and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. See you later. Are we even in shot now? Yeah, I think we're in shot. Shower clouds coming. I can feel a draft up my gusset. Your gusset. <sighs> well, I never knew that I'd be gaying it up down the river one day. Gaying it up? Yeah. There you go, that was professional, wasn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <gasps> First kiss on YouTube. Oh my God, that'll be it now. Some people think we're of that persuasion because they've never seen our wives. <laughs> I'm married. I'm married. So we're both married. I don't know why people think we're gay. <laughs> Come on. I mean, Sean, yeah, you can see it from space, but... <laughs> Fancy some fruit pastels. Yeah. Where did that come from? I don't know. I do now. So we were getting stared at by a couple back at Lemon Royd Lock. It just looks like a river. Let's <laughs> go back to Ribble Link. What do you think, Chuckles? Chuckles? Chuckles. Chuckle honey. I was gonna say Vajazzle, that's not what I meant, is it? <laughs> Vajazzle. What is Vajazzle? No. Oh yeah, yeah, a glittery new new. <laughs> I need a coffee. <laughs>